Tato's Dino Rex was created in 1992 using the most advanced graphics of the time. Just take a look at some of these screen captures I have for you so you can really see the millions upon millions of polygons and the artistry that went into every pixel here. It's amazingly fantastic. And just look at the skin rendering and just the fatalities that are involved in this game. They're absolutely good. Just, just, just take a look at this. Just, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Incredible, incredible, unbelievable graphics for 1992. Uh, nothing can compare. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Actually, Dino Rex is an interesting arcade fighter. It tried to capitalize on the popularity of games like Street Fighter 2 and Final Fury that were really burning up the arcades in the early 90s. And the plot follows your quest to unseat the current Dino King, to become Dino Rex yourself, by challenging and defeating a slew of trainers and their dinosaurs with your own. As you can see, you get to pick from several different dinosaurs and you have to master each one of them's style. They're all different. And as you can tell, it's very, very similar to most fighting games that we grew up with in the 90s. Except you got dinosaurs. What could be better than that? Except maybe fighting trains and you know, that turned into robots and dinosaurs. So, uh, I am the, I guess, is it a Triceratops or, I mean, these are really bad models. Really bad. But nevertheless, you, you get the gist of it. And the dinosaurs themselves are digitized stop-motion models. And this was a technique that was uh, used several times during the 90s with games like um, Atari's Primal Rage that came after this and, and Interplay's Clay Fighter that was on the home consoles. Uh, you know, one can't help but see the similarities in the dinos and the look and the feel with uh, classic Ray Harryhausen stop-motion films. And if you don't know who Ray Harryhausen is, you really owe it to yourself to Google a man and take a look at some of his YouTube classics. They're really fantastic. Alright, so we, we dispatched the first one. And you'll subsequently go up the ladder. And here's the new challenger. The backgrounds will change. We're all used to this kind of stuff. Cool. Now some of the animations are pretty ridiculous, especially these Triceratops. They have a, a running <laughs> a running position that is really absurd. <laughs> it really is awesome. Um, there's a lot of breakable stuff on the screen, which always makes it look cool, and there's smoke. Um, one of the things that you have to do in this game is to get power-ups, and the way you do these power-ups is by making your dino roar. And that kind of puts you in a prone position for a few seconds. So you have to time it carefully. Another great feature is these dream sequences where you have a dream and your dino actually goes to a modern day period, a city or whatnot, and you get to just destroy stuff. It's really cool. It's more of a bonus stage. <laughs> I love the running. It's more of a bonus stage and it gives your hands a break from the, the constant mashing, especially the way I play fighters, where I really don't know the moves nearly as well as some people, and I'm constantly just bashing and smashing. So it's cool that you just can relax and just have a little fun with this. Yeah, you can get hurt, but if you play it smart, it's more of a downtime so you can relax until your next fight. Every d dinosaur has a different fighting stance. Every dinosaur has... What the hell is going on there? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, get off me. No means no. And that happens a lot in this game. There's a lot of dino sex. Or overt dino sex. I really think it is dino sex. But I'm sure the good people at, at, at Taito would say, No, it's just uh, dino fighting. That's how they romp. Cool stuff going on. Yeah. Smashing tanks, smashing bulldozers, helicopters, people, civilians. Oh yeah, and even buildings. 
Rampage has nothing on this game. <laughs> now there's even different levels as you can see, where you're up above and down below, which makes the, the fighting scene much bigger than it originally appears to be. Which is pretty cool. Is that Mo? Is that Mo from the Three Stooges in a primitive outfit? That's Mo. Definitely Mo. Cool. So here we are, and this is one of the final stages where it's just kind of funky, kind of primitive slash futuristic. And sometimes the colors of the dinosaurs change. I have seen this big fat dinosaur purple. And uh <laughs> it, it, I swear to goodness, it looks just like Barney. He lumbers, <laughs> he's awesome. But uh, he's also a playable character if you need to. And here we are. Now, at the end stage, you actually get to fight Dino Rex, a big, fat, bloated human, mano a mano, in a very easy battle. I would imagine this was done on purpose by Tato to really accentuate that it's time for the old Dino Rex to step down. And of course, here are the chicks, and that is Rastin. I am sorry, I've, I've looked at the pictures. That is Rastin, a character that has been in many Tato games. And in fact, that is confirmed at the end of the credits, which are the coolest part of this whole game. The credits, <laughs> take a look at this. It's Dinos on Parade. I'll never get used to that guy running on two feet. I'll never get used to it. It's the greatest thing in the world. This is just brilliant. So, Dino Rex, it's, it's a cool, interesting fighter, uh, definitely not the best fighter, but entertaining nonetheless, and it's entertaining because of these little, little extras that Tato put in there. Even this, uh, there's a little WTF moment, and that's coming up, so stand by, stand by, it's, it's coming up, I promise you, it's worth the wait, it really is. Oh, come on. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. There it is. WTF. What's going on there? Who is this guy? <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on here. What? <laughs> More dino sex, evidently. This is awesome. <laughs> Look, he, 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 I don't know. Folks. I don't know, but thank you, Tato, for having a good time with this game because I sure did. Awesome. And if you enjoyed this and had a little fun watching, please subscribe to Mamecade. I look forward to seeing you guys and talking to you real soon. See you guys.